Hey, what's up everyone? This is Patrick from werewolfpad.com. Today I'm with my friend Lewis. What's going on, bro? What's up, man? Ah, not too much. Um, we're here in Prague. It's freezing outside, but we don't care because we're here to talk about guitars, right? Um, Lewis is uh, a musician and also uh, a guitar teacher. Um, what are you working on these days? Well, I'm just working as a musician, having some concerts, and um, I was thinking about buying a new guitar. Even though I have a sponsor, I I was interested to make something with this guitar because it has been it has been with me for 15 years, so I have a personal feeling for it, and I just was thinking about why not to make it more more better. Sure, um, you've had this guitar for 15 years. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, you've played the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. The fretboard is kind of... I don't know if it's really worn out that much, but the frets are completely worn out. So they are totally um, damaged. Yeah. Uh, the five-way switch is also defective. Mm -hmm. You get only four positions out of five. Actually, when you turn, it, when you change it, you don't get any difference in the sound. Uh -huh. And when you put it here, actually, the sound just cuts. You can't hear it anymore. All right. Then you have uh, master volume and a master tone. The problem also is that this thing comes with a humbucker and two single coils, but there's no way to split the humbucker because there's no switch for that, okay? Exactly. Um, so what you want to do is get, you want to get the Stratocaster sound. Mm -hmm. okay? Exactly. All right. And besides, this guitar has soul because you've played the hell out of it. You've been in Mexico, in Europe, in the States, you've been everywhere with this guitar. 15 years I have yeah. taken everywhere with me and <laughs> it's just following me. It's like she doesn't want to leave me. So Yeah, so <laughs> we need to, we're gonna, we're gonna pimp the hell out of it and uh, here's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. We're going to have three single coils, DiMarzio area pickups. Mm -hmm. Uh, 61, 67, and a 58. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which are extremely amazing. Yes. I, I've heard them online on YouTube, and the sound that you get from that is just yeah. unbelievable. And they're noiseless, also. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. So, we're going to put a high quality five way switch. We're going to put a high quality volume uh -huh. knob. And we're going to try a Fender TBX switch. So, what happens is that the TBX switch has two positions, actually three. You have a central position. Mm -hmm. Then when you turn it one way, mm -hmm. you get 250 kilo ohms. Uh -huh. And when you turn it the other way, uh -huh. then you get one mega. Uh -huh. okay. So what happens is that it gives you, it's a question of taste, but a lot of people like it because it gives you the best of actually three worlds, let's uh -huh. say. So you get the zero position, uh -huh. then you get the 250, which is like a regular Stratocaster, and then you get the one mega, uh -huh. which gives you a different tone. So it's it's a question of taste. Okay. So we'll which see Which is for me it's it. perfect because I'm a very experimental guitar player, so mm -hmm. I need to try with very different, uh, let's say, like uh, options of sound. Mm -hmm. So for me it would be perfect. Next, we're going to work on the tremolo assembly. Um, I wanted to put a Callahan tremolo originally, but it's expensive. It's yeah. very good quality, but it's expensive. So while I was in San Diego a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. I came across a Wilkinson tremolo, which is under a hundred dollars, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, it's actually about $80, 85 dollars for so the complete tremolo assembly, and it has a steel block, which is very important because. Most of these guitars have a zinc block, mm -hmm. and what you want is a steel block. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically we get a complete high quality uh, Wilkinson tremolo with a steel block for under a hundred bucks, right? So um, we're going to use a graph tech nut. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is. We can notice if I play very, very strong. Yeah, I'm just going to fall. Yeah, the string, the string doesn't hold because it's broken here, yeah, I see. You can notice that it's here, it's just broken and just yeah. completely damaged. Um, we're going to replace the stock tuners with hip shot tuners, mm -hmm. locking tuners, mm -hmm. which are excellent quality. That means that I can be playing like crazy bendings. And Absolutely. Yeah. It won't be no. on tune. Absolutely. It's perfect for me. Yeah, uh, hip shot, they make some of the best guitar products out there. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, I don't get any money for saying this, by the way, but uh, I truly believe that Hipshop is a great company. Mm -hmm. They make super high quality mm -hmm. hardware. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Yeah, okay. Um, the pit guard mm -hmm. has to be custom made mm -hmm. because, as you can see, it has a humbucker mm -hmm. and the two single coils, but we want three single coils. Mm -hmm. So, since we want to emulate the Strat sound as much as possible, mm -hmm. it means that the bridge pickup has to be angled exactly like on the Stratocaster. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do is measure the position of the pickups mm -hmm. and make a template from paper okay. uh, based on this. Mm -hmm. Double check, triple check the measurements so we know exactly where the pickups are mm -hmm. because the scale on this guitar is the same as on the Fender Stratocaster. Yeah. So it's a 25 and a half inch mm -hmm. scale. So by positioning the pickups the same way, mm -hmm. we're guaranteed to have uh, a Strat sound. Okay. I don't know how critical that is, but you know, just in case. Mm -hmm. So uh, the pig guard is going to be custom made, and then it will be cut by uh, probably by laser. Mm -hmm. Uh, by a guy who specializes in, in pit guards. Mm -hmm. That's all he does. Mm -hmm. He okay. can build any pit guard from a paper template, from, from a drawing, from measurements, for whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So that's for the pit guard. The frets. We were going to put stainless steel frets on this beast, but You've tried the evil frets on my on one of my guitars. <laughs> I just tried a couple of minutes ago, and I couldn't believe that it. it was the best feeling I have gotten from playing a guitar. It was just amazing, yeah. amazing feeling. Evil frets are not that common. Um, evil frets are something between, in terms of hardness, are something between stainless mm -hmm. and regular frets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they have a different tone, different mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, most people who've tried evil frets won't try anything else after that. And what's so, the feeling when I will be making slides and stuff? Yeah. How, 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 how would be the feeling? Uh, that I don't know actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it would be the same like uh, the one that I tried of mm -hmm. yours? It has to be the same. Okay. Although there are different sizes of evil frets just like there are different sizes of frets in general. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of finding the right size for you. But okay. the ones, uh, I, I have jump, medium jumbo on mm -hmm. mine. So mm -hmm. if you want the same size, we'll put the same mm -hmm. size. So in other words, what we're going to do is uh, clean up the, the fingerboard. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not damaged mm -hmm. and put evil frets. That's it. So let's take this beast. So you, I'm having also, a, I'm going to have a, um, a plate made mm -hmm. uh, shouldn't be a big deal, but it has to the collar has to match the pig guard. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, we have not decided yet what to do with this. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to use ferrules instead of the plate, but we still must think about mm -hmm. this. Um, this is not a standard fender uh, plate. It has a different spacing between uh, the screws, mm -hmm. so we cannot use a, for example, a con contour. Uh, fender mm -hmm. uh, plate. Will so we have to cut it? We could make one from scratch, from stainless or whatever, but I'm thinking that it might be beneficial to use ferrules. Now, the ferrules you find normally are 5 8 which is 16 millimeter. Mm -hmm. That's usually too wide to fit on a Stratocaster. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my father-in-law is a machinist, so I'm I asked him to machine a bunch of ferrules for me out of stainless. Mm -hmm. So we have 12 millimeter, which is half inch, 14 millimeter, mm -hmm. I forgot what that is. But uh, 14 millimeter obviously is between half and 5 eighths. Mm -hmm. So um, most likely the half inch will fit perfectly here. Okay. Which means that we can, we can actually uh, contour the heel mm -hmm. quite a bit. And have a slant here. Mm -hmm. So when you're working, sorry, I'm left-handed, so it's kind of uh, awkward. But so when you're reaching yeah. the the upper frets here, it yeah. will be more simple for me just yeah. to go and play here. Exactly. So we can we can actually we can actually um, shape the heel to match uh, Ibanez's design. Okay. And actually, I was watching uh, YouTube one day. Actually, every day, but Herman Lee had a custom Ibanez made for him by Ibanez 
and they made a, a really cool heel and they also shaved off this area here. Actually, no, here, sorry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how you do backwards. But here, so the hand, the hand doesn't hit here, so you get more access. But his guitar has 24 frets, uh -huh. so that is pretty critical when you have 24 frets. In, in this case, you have 22, mm -hmm. so it's not that critical. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's pretty much what we're doing to uh, to this guitar. Now, in terms of refinishing it, mm -hmm. we're going to strip the neck, sand it, and most likely just clear coat it, but it's stained. So I don't know if the the stripping and the sanding is going to take care of, uh, of all the stains. Mm -hmm. If it isn't, then we'll probably put some stain on it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll clear it. Mm -hmm. The body is going to be completely stripped because the paint is coming off. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it with primer, mm -hmm. filler primer, mm -hmm. sand it, Spray some base, let it dry, let it shrink, because it needs a lot of time for it to shrink. I don't know how many... Ah, probably it's a process that's going to take a whole month, okay. including the drying, okay? Sand it with the block, then paint it blue, mm -hmm. metallic blue, mm -hmm. and then we're going to apply some blue metal flakes. It's very 70s, but wow. it's going to look awesome. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because even though this guitar is actually very good quality, the wood here is nothing special, so yes. there's no real reason to just clear coat it, you yes. know, because it's not that nice. Mm -hmm. So may as well just um, do a really nice paint job to mm -hmm. it. So it's going to be like completely new guitar. So is it going to be a Yamaha Pacifica? No. Or is it going to become something else? It will not be a Yamaha Pacifica. <laughs> no longer. No. <laughs> but I guarantee you it's going to be awesome. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of work. Coming up, mm -hmm. the first step is for Lewis to try this guitar, to play it. Yes. Um, see what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we're going to record it with mm -hmm. a special microphone. Okay, perfect. So we need to set up for this. So we'll be back in a few minutes. And, um, and then we'll have to disassemble it. But we'll, uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So first, he plays it and we'll see what's up. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, Louis, so you're all set up. We're gonna start with the bridge position. We're in clean mode, by the way. That's exactly what we were talking about. The switch is defective, so, but we're gonna fix that later. All right, let's try a little bit of distortion. So next step is we're going to disassemble it, and um, and that's it. All right, are you ready to see this beast disassembled? I cannot wait. All right, <laughs> cool. <laughs> 